G'day and welcome to another video. This is what it looks like. It's the bottom end of a stainless steel conical fermenter. Let's get into it with the grinder, shall we? So we're here with the bottom end of a 26 litre brew built or seven gallon fermenter brew built uni tank. And the reason we're here is this bottom valve. These bottom valves are huge. I mentioned that in my 14 gallon video. I haven't done an opening unboxing setup video for the seven gallon because it's, you know, it's extremely similar uh, to the 14 gallon uh, video, which I've already made. I've mentioned several times before that some of this hardware they use on these smaller fermenters, it's quite large for the little fermenters they are. This is a two inch port on the bottom, which really helps for getting out your dry hops and your yeast, uh, but it can be a little bit hard to manage on a smaller fermenter like this, uh, and especially this one where the handle for the valve, if you haven't got it in the right place, which it isn't at the moment, can bash against the you know bits and pieces of the stand. And look, while it still works, you know, it's not ideal. Everything still works fine. This isn't in the right spot. You can move it around to get it in the right spot where it's a little bit better. But if you have it in a small fridge, you might not be able to put it in the position you want it. And that might make it hard to use. And some might suggest to flip it over, but you can't, it doesn't fit. I did think about replacing the valve with another type, one like this. This is a one and a half inch. I would have had to have got a two inch, but I thought why waste money on another valve when I've got this one here? I examine this a bit closer and it looks like cast iron to me. Feels like cast iron, looks like cast iron. That should be pretty easy to get into with the grinder. I'm gonna take an inch, inch and a half off the end of each of these and see what happens. Let's do it. So I've put these plastic covers back on. They're really handy to keep. Don't throw them out when you get them with your stainless gear. They're, they're good for storing your stuff clean and sanitized and etc. But that'll help me put in the vise without damaging it. Doesn't have to be tight, just to hold it. Nice and firm. Safety goggles. And that way it's easier to access when it's in the fridge and you're at the front of the fermenter. And we are totally clear. That is much better. It's open, it's closed. You might even move it right around somewhere because you're going to be trying to get samples out of here. Well, that's closed there. Yeah. I just have many more options. It's awkward when it's upside down like this, but I just have a lot more options. Yeah. 
and we close there. Open there, that's probably a good way. Just like that, and then you've got access to that. I mean, you can always put a hose on that. But you don't need to if you have it to the side there. So that's it, I'm much happier with that. Be a lot easier. I did have a different configuration last time. I wasn't gonna use this here. I had a, uh, an elbow, I'll show you up on the screen, and coming out here and a tap out the front, which made it very easy. But once you dump the yeast, and you dry hopped, you, know, you had all this big elbow and about out to here where the, you know, the hops probably just sat down there most of the time, which, you know, isn't too bad. But I thought if I can put it up here and then have the elbow, I can still drain down there if I want to and get the yeast out. But when I close it off, after I've got the yeast out, I can leave it like a normal clinical and just have the hops up here. They'll stay up here in the cone. Just another experiment. But uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and all that sort of stuff. And thanks to my patrons, because without them, this couldn't happen. This wasn't a gift, I paid for this out of my earnings. Cheers.